Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan and our cameraman here is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Palomino SS550. Um, before we get started here, a couple things I want to touch on is this is for any half ton truck or bigger um, with a five and a half foot bed all the way to an eight foot bed. So you can put it on a five and a half foot, six and a half foot, or an eight foot bed. And uh, you can put it on a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck. So it pretty much is universal across, except for your small compact trucks like your Toyota Tacoma. Um, also, we do order these all in the cool gray color. Uh, the other option would be white. And the reason we do that is, for one, uh, black streaks do not show up as quickly on the gray as they do on the white. But the main reason is, there's a difference in the fiberglass that they use. The white would be more like a phylon uh, fiberglass material, and this is your actual fiberglass with your gel coated out on there. Um, so it has a thicker gel coat. It's just the quality is better. If you would happen to damage this, this is repairable, where your phylon is much more difficult. So them are some of the reasons we all go with all uh, the cool gray color. Um, I think today we'll start here in the back. You do have your full assist grab handle at your entry door. Uh, you also have a friction hinge door, which is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds and you don't have the latches in the back like you do in the past. One other thing that they upgraded is we do have a shade integrated into the uh, door itself, which is a very nice feature. You do have your amber porch light. Uh, the the uh, bracket that you have up here is for a backup camera, so it is prepped and ready for that. And you do have the option between the backup camera and the observation camera. And the only difference between the two is the observation camera works at high speeds when you're traveling down the interstate. It just has a stronger wireless signal. These do come with your manual jacks at the four corners. Um, there is, I'll show you in a little bit. There's a, a hand crank that comes along and an adapter you can put on a cordless drill to operate that way. You can upgrade this to the electric jacks with a remote if you would like. Um, it is prepped and ready as far as here, as far as uh, changing this head out to the electric head. So that is an option if you would like to upgrade to that. Uh, we do have your outside shower. This does have your hot and cold. As you can see, so you do have the shower head with your hot and cold. That is included. And behind there is your uh, portable solar panel port. Um, you can alligator clip to this. So basically you can use almost any portable solar panel on this port. And as we move up front, I'll show you a second solar panel port that is for the Furion brand only. You do have your city water connection. This is where you connect your water hose to at the campsite. And below that is your fresh water drain. So this does not have a gray uh, water holding tank. So your kitchen sink would come out of this port. So you would connect a, a hose to this and either run it out on the ground or in a bucket. So that is your drain for your kitchen sink. You also have a six gallon uh, gas DSI water heater. So this is a direct spark ignition do have the six gallon. Here is your 30 amp connection. It does come with a 30 amp detachable cord, which is a separate cord. It's not one you're trying to pull out and trying to shove in through this port. So that is a nice feature. You have a, uh, your receptacle on the outside, your vent for your 20,000 BTU furnace. These are just reefer vents for air circulation behind your refrigerator. And then you would have your fresh water connection, which is if you're dry camping, you can fill your fresh water tank through this port and flip on your water pump switch on the inside and you're ready to go. This is the second solar panel port. This is for the Furion brand. So you do have a option for a portable solar panel if you do a lot of dry camping. Um, also, along with that, on the front here, you have a seven-way female plug, which is identical to the one on your truck. This cord is provided as well. It's a double seven-way male cord. Uh, this goes back, plugs into your seven-way on the bumper of your truck, basically to operate your clearance lights, uh, your running lights, and then also if you're traveling, it'll charge the battery on board. As, along with that, if you're plugged into 110, 
will also charge your battery. So whether you're plugged into 110 or your truck will charge your on onboard battery. So that's a nice. Also you have your cab window. This is a slider window so this does open. So you have your slider cab window. <clears throat> you also have a four inch spacer on the front. This is just so the front of your camper doesn't rub against the bed of your truck. As we move around to the passenger side of the unit, uh, we do have your propane compartment here. It does come with a 20 pound propane tank which is filled by the Outpost RV. And right here you'll notice is your adapter for your cordless screw gun. And then you'll have your manual handle if you do want to do it that way. You'll also notice they do put a magnetic catch on here. So you just flip that up and it'll hold it for you, which is nice. Also, the window here by the dinette does open. So you do have cross ventilation if you'd like. And then also the cam latches to hold the roof does come with your safety pins now. They used to not in the past. So you can lock that in as you travel. I believe that concludes the outside of the Palomino uh, SS550 and now we'll move to the inside. Okay, before we get started on the inside, I do want to show you a little bit on the mechanism of the roof. This is powered by a, a switch on the inside so that you do have electric uh, jacks that operate your roof. And these are on limit switches. Um, right now, I lowered the roof just a little bit to give some um, relaxation in your vinyl here and what I want to show you is if you want that to come in as you lower your roof um, there's a fantastic fan vent above the bed I do have that turned on right now and if we close this back door it'll create a vacuum you'll notice how that pulls this in now you can see how that pulls that vinyl in for you and then you can continue to lower the roof and that'll pull that vinyl in for you. For the sake of time, I'm not going to take it all the way down. Like I mentioned, these are on limit switches. So if one jack gets in position before the others, they will all stop as they hit their uh, limit switch. The fantastic fan vent, which is above the bed, is a little bit too far forward for a shy, uh, short guy like me. But so if somebody has long arms, you can actually, after it's down, you can reach up and close that. But um, it is plenty far forward for someone that has short arms like me. Right inside the door is your switch. You'll notice it has an on and off and an up and down. Your on and off is if you're in the travel mode you can flip that off that way if anything does bump your up and down switch it's not trying to operate your roof while you're traveling beside that you'll notice a battery disconnect switch so if you put this unit in storage and you don't want your battery to drain you just uh, you can disconnect the battery through that switch also you'll notice there is a storage compartment underneath each dinette seat um, there you can see your cords that do come along with it so that's your 30 amp detachable cord and your double seven-way mail. In the dinette area, we do have the table set up at this point. Um, it is on a pedestal, so that can be removed. There is a, a plywood piece that is made up to fit into this cavity. You'll notice these black brackets right here. And then there is a spare cushion that you'll notice up in the bed area that fills this area in. If you look at the pictures on our website, I do have that removed and filled in so you can see what that looks like. But you can remove this dinette table. It gives you more space to walk around if you're not using it and or if you need more sleeping room. Above the dinette, you do have an overhead cabinet. You have a privacy curtain on each side for your bed area and right here is the step that you step on to crawl up into the bed area on the right side by the dinette you do have a nice countertop for storage have two cabinets here 
just gives you more storage room there and then you'll have your thermostat for your furnace a charging center for your uh, phones so you do have your USB ports and a 12 volt port as we step up into the bed area actually before we do that at the foot of the bed you'll notice there's two cabinet doors so you do have a little bit of storage in there and also you'll notice this handle at the foot of the bed this does raise up and you do have storage underneath your bed area and there is your uh, board that's made up for your dinette for your extra sleeping arrangement at each side of the bed uh, by the way this is a 60 by 80 so it is a, like a queen size mattress and you do have foot lockers on each side gives you a lot of nice storage up in the bed area and you do have the foot lockers on both sides oh and you do have your fantastic fan vent above the bed Okay, dropping back into the kitchen area, you do have a countertop above your refrigerator. This is a, I believe, a 3.3 cubic refrigerator. And this would have your gas, electric, and 12 volt system. So there you can see you have some decent refrigerator space. And it does have a freezer compartment at the top. Stepping back into the kitchen area, the base cabinet, you do have a, a, a fair amount of storage in the base cabinet. The bottom section will not have as deep storage as this top section. And there would be your gas switch for your water heater. And this would be your switch for your water pump and there's your dump for your 20,000 BTU furnace up on top we do have a two burner stove top along with a kitchen sink with a high-rise kitchen faucet and you do have a sink cover which gives you more countertop space if you're not using the sink above the kitchen you do have overhead cabinets as well as overhead cabinets above your dinette on the vinyl that we have here, you'll notice there is a three layer. So you'll have your privacy layer, and then you'll have a kind of like a uh, plastic tinted layer. And then you'll have the screen on the outside. So it is a three layered vinyl. I believe that concludes the inside of the 550, I'll do one more brief walkthrough. And you can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.